here is another example from the optics okay a fish in a flat-sided aquarium sees a can of fish food on the counter um, to the fish side, the can looks to be 30 centimeters outside of the aquarium. What is the uh, what is the actual distance? So here is an aquarium, so it is looking straight. I'm, I'm assuming that theta is very very small. So if for small theta, tan theta is always equal to sine theta. Here I'm going to use the Snell's law. Okay. So I mean, if you look at here. The light rays basically this is the virtual image that's the real image in, in red color that's the real can but for the fish it's look like it is 30 centimeters away from it okay now so the light ray is entering into the water tank so when the light ray is traveling from from air to the water it will bend towards the normal Okay, so that's what happened here um, now so when we extend this this line when we extend so this is the um, light ray so when we extend this is where it's look like at p, p prime so the image at p prime is the watchful image but the real object is at p so he gave us this distance as 30 centimeter okay so now as i mentioned n1 i mean for small angles tan theta is same as the sine theta so i'm going to take that as a snell's law n1 sine theta 1 equal to n2 sine theta 2 so instead of sine theta i'm going to use the tan theta now n1 here is the water so n1 tan theta 1 so basically if you look at the small diagram right here okay here is theta 1 i don't know this distance t okay and i'm taking this as x so theta 1 equal to opposite over adjacent so that's what i used x over t i'm sorry i said n1 is water basically but i used n1 as air so n2 is the water so n1 is 1 tan theta is x over d and n2 as water 1.33 that's the uh, n value here he didn't give you that n value for sure in the exams definitely i'll provide n, n values you don't need to remember those n2 times sine theta 2 so sine theta 2 is equivalent to tan theta 2 for smaller angles so tan theta 2 is nothing but x over opposite over adjacent adjacent is 30 centimeters that's given okay from that i can find the d value actual distance is 23 centimeters there is the next example a thin glass rod is submerged in oil what is the critical angle so basically this is filled with oil oil is all over okay um in this question also he didn't give you n values but you need you need n values to find um, to find that critical angle theta c this is called internal reflection okay a light ray when falls onto it um, it it will reflect I mean based on this theta c critical angle sometimes it will reflect inside that material itself instead of coming out that's called internal reflection Okay. so for that the formula is sine theta c equal to n oil over n glass oil has 1.46 in the question he didn't provide but we need those values and n value for the rod is 1.5 theta c equal to 76.7 degrees here is the next example find the focal length of a glass lens okay so assume so uh, the lens maker's equation is 1 over f equal to n minus 1 n is nothing but um, uh, index of refraction of that glass that value is 1.5 uh, n minus 1 over 1 over r1 minus 1 over r2 okay now take r1 as a negative number since the object is on the concave side of the lens so if object is on the con concave side take that as 
uh, negative number if it is on the convex side if it is on the convex side take that as a positive number so it doesn't matter which side you have your object say if I have my object right here let me use this if my object is right here then I'm going to choose this as R1 okay and still on this side it is a concave so still I'm going to take that R1 as negative number okay so 1.5 minus 1 this is the uh, lens maker equation okay so 1.5 minus 1 over 1 over minus 40 R1 and R2 is minus of 1 over 40 so I end up with f value equal to uh, minus 40 centimeters that's the focal length uh, that's from the fo um, that's from the lens maker equation okay here is the next example it is night time you have dropped your goggles into a three meter deep swimming pool if you have hold a laser point one meter above the edge of the pool you can illuminate the goggles um, if the laser beam enters the water two meters from the edge how far are the goggles from the edge of the pool here it's a simple science lab but I mean you're going to use a little bit trigonometry so here he gave you the person's height as one meter now it is entering the light beam so you are using a ray your light ray is entering one meter above the ground so height of this is one meter and it is entering two meter from the edge so this is two meter that value is given so that's theta one so what happens when it enter into the water the reflection sorry refraction it will move away from the normal right so that's theta two now n1 sin theta one equal to n2 sin theta two in this question he didn't give you n2 value but n2 for water is 1.33 it's good idea to remember that number but for sure i'll provide those num that number in the in the exam so now i'm going to find theta 1 by using um, right angle triangle so theta 1 equal to opposite over adjacent 2 over 1 which is 63.43 that's theta 1 from there i can find find theta 2 i found the theta 2 by using snell's law so once i have theta 2 now I can say tan theta 2 equal to opposite over its adjacent by using this triangle down here. Um, X, I don't know the distance, but I know depth is 3 or height is 3 meters. Okay, from there I found X equal to 2.73 meters. So total distance from the edge um, of the goggles is 4.73 meters. Here is the last example, the last example in this video. There is one angle of incidence, which is beta, onto a prism for which the light inside an isosceles prism travels parallel to the base and emerges at an angle of uh, beta. So the light ray is entering with uh, uh, an angle of beta and it is also leaving an angle of beta and inside the prism it is traveling straight horizontal find the expression for beta value um, in terms of uh, unknown values like alpha and n2. So I'm going to use the Snell's law n1 sine theta 1 equal to n2 sine uh, n1 sine theta 1 is nothing but beta um, theta 2 is nothing but I'm going to take that as theta. Okay. Now here if you look at the triangle so I know this angle is alpha I don't know this angle I don't know this angle but I know all of those three angles must be equal to um, 180 degrees so what I did alpha and this angle I can say can I say that as 90 minus theta okay so that's what I did so whatever this angle x x equal to um, 90 minus theta because the angle between normal to that uh, surface must be 90 degrees and theta must be um, 90 I mean x must be 90 minus theta same thing here 90 minus theta so the total angle is 180 degrees so basically theta angle must be alpha over 2 so based on that you can find beta value now in part B he gave you beta value and he gave you uh, I mean he mentioned it's a equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle alpha and x must be 
equal to 60 degrees. So I end up with finding N2 as 1.58. Thank you.